we can still climb the mountain again and hunt one of these hardwood benches over here in Georgia. I hunted it probably a week ago, I guess, and saw a lot of deer and went to Oklahoma and hadn't had a chance to get back. So we're fixing to climb up to that same kind of area, gonna wrap around the bench a little bit more than we were uh, on that last sit, but gotta get to climbing up. It is deathly quiet. I think it's about 32, 34 degrees, so it's nice and cool. But uh, I mean, there is no breeze whatsoever, so. It's a waiting game. We're all situated. I think I jumped some deer right as I got to the tree. Sounded like they were right around the bend of the mountain from me here. The way this mountain runs, it's uphill this way. There's some ravines that come in from the downhill side. And I'm at the top of those ravines. There's a nice bench that goes around. And I find most of the traffic on this bench, but they bed on the bench above this, which is only about 75 yards up. So I chose this bench, thinking the deer and the bugs anyways would cruise this lower bench with a wind that's fallen off the mountain. That's the plan anyway. We have been on site for about three hours now. That woodpecker that you just heard, or I think you heard, is about the only thing I've seen. Look, I haven't even seen a squirrel today that I can confirm. I'm being serious. I heard a squirrel barking earlier, but I ain't seen him. And I ain't seen no deers, that's for sure. I mean, it don't rightfully make a lot of sense. It's cold. It's just one of those days, like the sun has not come out heavy heavy cloud cover everything just seems dead just a dead day we're on the ground this place looks better on the ground than it did from the tree so i don't really have an explanation as to why we didn't see no deer this morning well i brought enough stuff in this backpack to stay all day if i needed to but considering that i haven't seen anything I'm gonna stay all day. I'm gonna run out and grab something to eat and uh, wrap my mind around what we're gonna do this evening. So, this is weird. I'm walking out and I get a phone call I have to take, a buddy of mine. So I just sit down on the edge of the little trail I'm walking out here. Right before that, I heard some deer or I heard something running over there. It sounded really weird. I honestly thought it was a dog. I heard a dog way down here. Uh, I don't know, about halfway through the morning, I guess. As I'm on the phone with my buddy there, I hear it again. It's on this mountainside back here behind me. And uh, it's, a, it's obviously a deer running a doe. Because I hear it just rrr, 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 and I just hear it running, 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 running. So. I got my release out of my backpack and I hear him running over there. Huh. I don't know if I need to stalk up there, see if I can't see what it is. I can't see what it is, obviously. I don't know, let me do some thinking here. I've decided to just come straight on in here where that deer was running and grunting and stuff earlier is right below another place that I walked during this summer. It's like a saddle, a really, really pronounced saddle between two high points of a ridge. And uh, it was right below that. My thinking is if I can slip up in here, get set up, maybe by the end of the day, they'll come back through. He'll be running does, or if there's a hot doe in this area, I'm sure he's not the only bug that'll catch her scent. So the only issue is the wind is pretty sketch, but I'm hoping I can put myself in a position where I'll be just off enough to where I can still hunt that saddle. So we're up here to the saddle. Fixing to go up this tree right here. I bumped a deer, I think it was a doe or a small bug. 
back that way just as soon as I started coming up. But I hear the deer running over there, hundred, a couple hundred yards. So I'm gonna try to get up this tree right here really quick. So I'm still at the bottom of my tree. I've got the tap rope on the bow. I've got everything ready to go up. And I heard the deer again and I laid my eyes on them. It looks like a buck. Pretty decent buck, so if they're breeding a doe.
just barely over the crest of this ridge. I can hear him walking. Clear as day. He was just right there. But I heard some deer sound like they went down. Then I heard a deer run across the next ridge. It didn't sound like two deer. So I'm afraid to do anything. There's a possibility that he and the doe are still right there. He's not a giant, but given the situation, I was shook up. <laughs> if I had any kind of wind at all, I would start sneaking down there, but it would be so loud right now. I guess we'll sit and wait. Give it about 30. See what happens. that other ridge because it appears the wind is now straight in my back unreal I guess I'll try to get up this thing the best case scenario he's bumped her off and they'll come back before dark I'm up here now I just got the I just got situated where I'm at right here typically I get everything situated with my platform, take my backpack off, it's on the tree, then I'll hook up the tree arm for the camera, then I'll pull everything up and hook the camera up and uh, the bow, hang the bow up. I was in the process, I already had my backpack hung up, I was in the process of getting the camera arm out, heard something dark around, uh, come walking up right where those were, I don't know if it was the same deer, big dark body deer and I had a decent set of, you know, width as far as I could see his frame, basically. I quit paying attention to it and started trying to get my bow up. I was able to get everything up here. At that point, he had gotten right level with me and walked, and, and walked straight away. Never knew I was here, though, but what a doggone day. about all she wrote for tonight. Got a glimpse of another deer down in there, but not sure what it was and it didn't come up here. A little bit of excitement today. That's pretty cool watching that buck breed that doe. But, uh, we'll see what we can drum up for tomorrow. <laughs>